For those tuning in, I am trying out a cantata I just got from the gunsmith. I probably turned in 500 engrams looking for just hip fire grip opening shot in steady rounds. Finally got that, but with not an ideal barrel, not an ideal master work. Keep in mind that when Sura Synergy procs, I get anti flinch and 40 handling. So it's like I have 100 handling, which is really nice considering conditional finality is at 95. I'm using Arc Loader to proc the perk more and Marksman's Dodge to proc the perk more. So yeah, Stompies are one of the best Hunter Exotics, period. Able to play the true skill ceiling. And basically break people's camera by sliding onto head cover like this. Also, service Synergy works in the backpack, by the way. Stompy movements. Now I can hip fire accurately too. So the same way I was playing Knucklehead. Unlucky. I needed to just overall do that aiming so much better to put that nade in that pocket. That's part controller for me. I'm just not 100% on this input device. I could see the play I wanted to make, though. Uh, by the way, if my nade picks up that kill, it drops an orb, and I'm able to just continue the uh, rampage. See that right there? I'm able to keep my radar open to know when he's approaching. That, I was going to say that Void Soul is about to be a problem. So yeah, a lot of situations where hip fire grip is already worth its weight in gold. Just having the radar up and still dealing damage while staying hyper mobile. Because keep in mind, you have an aim down sights penalty of 25% on every gun except sidearms. And so that matters a lot. So suddenly being able to have a strafe that's slightly faster from your opponent's POV is really difficult for them to deal with. Stompy slide. I don't really want to fight a 2v1, but I'm going to for sake of the video. The guy in the back with Ace got me. I didn't actually like acknowledge that that player was there. I did a good job isolating ones though. Just needed to be even tighter to cover so Ace of Spades didn't team shot. I'm trying to navigate backwards here. That melee sails so far. Hilariously, another unintentional hip fire grip moment. Holding that crouch won him the fight. If he spammed it, I would have probably hit a stray headshot. I was looking for the shotgun slide, but the correct play was to just jump up. I can jump because hip fire accuracy in the air is actually pretty good.
Yet another combo comes up for hip fire. Just shotgun cleanups. Keeping my radar open, fighting a DMT. Orb for later, orb for now. Stompy slides, cut the distance. Break line of sight, we're fighting again. This is a really good tether. Uh, maybe not. That's a drink from over there, he ain't doing shit. Uh, bad shots. All good though. Kind of wishing I had that tether now. Really wanted to play the advantage though. No one took the bait on it, which would have opened up an orb. Would have opened up multi kills. That strand is pretty scary. A lot of people say, why do you play such a low sense? The answer is because I like to use weapons that involve hip fire. So crosshair centering is the name of the game. Okay, so I tried to use my tether right there so that I can maintain the apex of my jump so that maybe if the Nova Bomb went to the floor, I still survive with the sliver. And then I can also just smoke slam down. Hipfire also is a, is a faster sensitivity for me. If you think about it. I'm getting active here. Slam into the healing. Perfect. Now I'm understanding why people have infinite shotgun ammo in these games. I just wanted that assist credit. Beautiful. This is a great game to show off both the highs and the lows of the cantata that I spent over 500 gunsmith engrams on. And this is finally the one that landed the perk combo I wanted. And I'm very happy I got it because this gun is amazing with probably the best hunter exotic in the game. So also Zen moment precision instrument. Oh man, rewarded today. Huge. All right, see y'all in the next one.